Hello, today we are going to talk about path dress ups. A path dress up that is very useful when cutting outlines of pieces out of a bigger piece, the tag dress up. So let's create a job with this body. And let's select the tool, the 6 millimeters and mill. That's the tool that I most often use. Set the horizontal and the vertical speed, 3500. The spindle speed weight in 105,000. And let's remove the default tool. The output, I will set it to GRPL because that's what my processor is. That's what my CNC uses. And with this job, let's hide the body and display the model. Let's make a profiling operation just a simple operation and let's assume that I cut this out of a bigger piece when I cut it it's kind of obvious that I cannot hold it by the sides by the front or the back or so on so what I need are some small tags so I go to the operation select the operation and go to the path menu go down to path dress up and select the tag here you can see it automatically creates a few tags. What if I want to change them? Deleting a tag is just as simple as clicking on it. You can see it highlighted in orange. Let's say I want to remove this one. I select it, it's number zero. I can either uncheck it and when I click apply, you can see it's not taken into account anymore or I can actually delete it by selecting it and pressing delete. What if I want to add another tag? Well, here is the button to add. It takes a little while to open up this part of the window. I can either manually set the values for X and Y. The Z value is of course grayed out because I cannot add a tag in the top of the cut. But I can go along these lines and just click where I want a tag added. After that I have to click save or I can add some more. After adding as many as I want I can click save don't know why it always adds another one i believe it's a bug on my own setup but i'll just go select it click delete and now when i click apply i have all these tags all these holding points you can see by default they are triangular they have a 45 degrees angle it's the angle formed by these lines by the edges of the tag to the horizontal if i want them to be straight up i can put 90 degrees here at the angle and you can see all my tags are now square unfortunately i cannot edit each tag but I can finally adjust their position so let's say I want to edit one of these two tags it's uh, tag number four and tag number three so I'll go to tag number four click on edit and you can see I have a global X and global Y so if I want to move the tag a little to the right I can just increase the Y click on save you can see it moved but now I have to click apply to update the changes let's take all the options one by one first it's the width of the tag i can increase or decrease it depending on my material on the direction of the grain if i mill wood sometimes i need to make the width bigger sometimes smaller it's enough and so on the height obviously is the height of the tag i can increase it and you can see that actually nothing happens because it closes the top of the tag before reaching this height if i want to reach this height i have to change the angle to make it a steeper angle let's say 80 degrees and now you can see i have a flat top for my tags if i reduce the height let's say to 20 millimeters you can see the flat top will stop exactly at 20 millimeters from the bottom if you actually want to get to a certain height you have to change the angle because at 45 degrees or a smaller angle it's very dependent to the width the radius i can give it a radius say 10 millimeters and you can see it makes a radius at both corners let's put a smaller radius so you can see that it's actually at both corners next is the list of tags which i can edit of course add some more or delete them i also can uncheck them but i don't usually use this method i just delete them because i probably won't need it anymore because every tag is bound to this operation next is the auto generate i can set the number of tags let's say i just want two tags and you can see that you don't have a generate button you have actually a replace all button because it will delete any tags that i have and then generate them in new places you can see i set them here and on the opposing face if i want three tags click on replace all again and if i don't like them of course i can go to the list edit them delete them add some more and so on so now let's leave this operation along with these tags let's hide the operation for now not disabling it and let's create another profile 
go to path, path dress up tag. I have the default tags here. And if I move to the bottom of this window to copy from, I have the previous dress up and click on replace all. You can see it created my three tags just as in the previous operation. When I copy them, it shows them with a shape from the dress up tag operation that I copied. They are actually gonna take these values from here, which are the default ones. So if I want to make them the same shape, I have to manually change these values. I don't know, I believe it's 1946. 20 millimeters, 80 degrees, and a radius of 2 millimeters. Now if I click apply, they are the same shape. So actually it just copies these values from here, not the settings from the top. And now let's delete the second one because we don't need it. We just deleted the dress up, not the operation itself. So let's open the path simulator, click on play. You can see these parts from here, these pieces won't be cut so the piece will stay connected to the entire stock that I'm cutting. In woodworking I usually leave this as small as possible, I then cut them by hand with a Japanese saw and then cut them flush with the trim router. Thank you for watching, next time we'll talk about another very useful path dress up, it's the dog bone.